All right, so we're going to talk about how to add a time limit to your game on Scratch. Um, first thing, I just have a really super basic Pong game set up um, based on the tutorial for Pong that they give you on Scratch. So if I would like to add a time limit to this game, there, there can be multiple reasons that you'd want to add that, but really the main reason for me is so that there can be a winner in the end. So you can find out I guess, basically if the person has won or lost. So um, with a game like this, um, I am going to put my code for a time limit on the background. It, it doesn't have to go on the background, but I don't. there's no code on the background already. So for me, it kind of makes more sense to do that. So I'm going to click on my background, and then I'm going to go to data, and I have to make a variable for a timer. So I click make a variable, and then I'm just going to um, write timer. Um, you can call it what you like. You can call it timer. You can call it just time, you can call it countdown clock, whatever you want to call it. We're going to click OK. And so now I have some code set up for my timer. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to control, or I'm sorry, to go to events. And I want when the flag is clicked, so basically when the game is has started, I want my time um, to start at a certain time. So I'm going to click set timer. And I'm going to make this count down. Um, depending on your game and your needs, you might want it to count up, um, but I'm going to make it count down. I want my game to last for one minute. So I'm going to say set timer to 60. And then I'm going to come to my control and I want a forever block because I want this to constantly happen and never stop. Um, I'm going to say change time. And I need to change it by negative one since it is counting down. And then you have to tell the time how long a second is. Just, just like everything with coding, it has no preconceived notions. So one second, to it, it needs to know that you want it to be by a second. So change timer by negative one. Then we come to control and then we need it to say wait one second. This will make it so that it starts at 60 and it just counts down. However, you want the clock to stop when you get to zero. Um, you don't want it just to start counting in negative numbers. So now you need a if then block and you're going to put this right under the wait one second. And then we're going to come to our operators and we want um this sort of diamondy shape with the equal sign in the middle you kind of hold it around there until it highlights and it pops into place okay we're going to come back to data and we want just the word timer in that first square and so we want if timer equals zero so meaning that we get all the way to the end you want the game to stop so we're going to come to control and we want this um, block that says stop all inside there. So that means that my clock is going to start at 60. It's going to count down by a second once I start. When it gets to zero, everything in the game stops. It just comes to a halt. It doesn't say you win. It doesn't say you lost. You just know that it's over. Um, you can kind of add more to it, but this is really the most basic thing. If you would like your game to then say game over, when you get to this point, you can add that in. You could add it in actually as a backdrop. If you want to change your backdrop to something um, that just says game over, um, you can do that. Or you can have it um, come to where it says looks and you can um, just add different effects to it. Um, it's, it's really up to you. You can even record a sound that says game over. Um, but what you would want to do is if you want something to happen when it gets to zero, other than just stopping all, like say you wanted a, a sound. So when the game ends, uh, a sound goes in there. You're going to put that play sound pop and maybe you'd want to record something that says game over or some special sound that sounds like the game is over. Um, you can have that in there. That's up to you how you would like to set that up. But like I said, this is the most basic way to set down, set up a countdown uh, clock for your game on Scratch.